to speak on the importance of adding the overhead squat and single leg squat assessment into an athletic screen. In my case, I'd be speaking with my baseball sports medicine team, my strength coach, and my orthopedic doctor. We know the importance of the kinetic chain in athletic movement and sport from the moment the foot hits the ground to the moment where the athlete may have to throw a baseball. It's a timing and sequence of events. It's an unloading and loading of forces, muscles, bones, and joints, and when it all comes together, it's a beautiful thing to watch. I really think that these two assessments speak to that, what's going on locally and globally. It can help tease out potential movement dysfunction. One question I may get is how does this fit into what we do by way of assessment and testing, or assessing and testing. Fits in nicely. This is not a, an expensive test. There is no expense. All you need is a decent amount of space to move around in, a clinical buy, and a willing athlete. Again, I think you get a lot of bang for your buck with these two tests and can help guide you in many, many, many different performance avenues. Another question I may get is how does this compare or relate uh, to traditional testing measures? Great study I found uh, looking at goniometric assessment and the overhead squat. It's a study by NOAA in 2009 uh, that looked, or what they found was a decrease in ankle dorsiflexion uh, correlated well with uh, an early uh, heel lift in the squat, what we may, what the textbook deems as, as a, a tight gastroc or soleus or Achilles. Uh, so that decrease in dorsiflexion with heel lift as well as uh, with the uh, migration or the, the descent on the squat uh, knees out correlated with a decrease in hip internal rotation. So I thought that was two uh, cool findings that they found with a traditional measure, uh, testing measure, and this overhead squat. Kind of in that same light, uh, one study out of the Journal of Strength Conditioning Research in 2011 by Montel found that based on what we know about the single leg squat and uh, uh, underactive and overactive tight versus uh, inhibited uh, muscles found this decrease in coactivation with gluteal to adductor muscles and a, also a decrease in dorsiflexion. So there's two studies within uh, the, these two assessments, the overhead squat and the single leg squat that showed this decrease in dorsiflexion resulted in aberrant movement and potential movement dysfunction. So I think dorsiflexion is really kind of key on what we want to look at with regards to uh, these two tests. Again, I think you just get tremendous bang for your buck with these tests. And again, it just tells you so much uh, by way of what these tests, how these tests can help guide you with training, with conditioning, with injury prevention, and even kind of outside the scope of this course uh, rehabilitation program. So again, if we start small, simple, methods and testing, this can help guide and lead us to complexity with the OPT model of stabilization, strength, and power. Simplicity yields complexity. Thank you.